Yo, what's going on guys, me Beckonator, and welcome to a, a Minecraft video? Yes, that is right, my Elgato has not been working lately, I do not know why, every time I plug it into either my Xbox or my Playstation, it just has a black, or I guess you could say grayish screen on it, and just won't like let me play my game, won't let me obviously record it or anything, I don't know what's wrong with it, so I have been stuck playing minecraft and actually i've been quite enjoying it and i'm not going to be playing on cosmic or you know kit pvp or anything like that i'm going to be playing on psycho pvp which is like f faction it's still factions but it's a little bit more simpler because there's no custom enchants at least on the realm i'm playing on and i have a rank on here as well and so i thought might as well use it so i have already started because i know my old faction series used to just always be me recording basic and i might do that at the end of the video probably not i'll see but i just wanted to just skip all that and maybe just show you a little quick tour of the base that i have so far so right here we have the top of the base and i have my mini map turned off so you guys cannot see the cores because uh, these bases get raided very fast and found very fast and I really don't want mine to be raided yet So what I have done is I have made no nope, I'm gonna take a quick swim real quick But I have made a main base here. That is exactly the size of one chunk But it's split between chunks So here if I can turn this on this is the dead middle of the base right here, but there's four equal chunks. You guys will see what that is for later. But in total, it's still a 16 by 16. Then here's one wall, two walls, three walls, four walls, five walls. And then I guess the sixth wall could be the technically base wall. And after these, these are just all the wraps I'm going to have. And then after this, I'm just going to gen like five or so more going out that way. And so far, the claims look very, very nice. You guys can kind of see it up in the middle right hand side of my screen, I think. But this is kind of like my claims. It's almost like in a little circle. It, I think it just looks very cool, very professional. It took me a while to claim all this out and obviously build this. Probably like two nights, I would say, of building all of this. Anyways, let's get into the base. So right here, we have the very, very bottom of the base. Now, this doesn't go all the way down to bedrock. This just goes down to about land area. I do have one reverse layer under this, and then there's this layer. Don't ask why this is here. I kind of ran out of cobblestone when I was making this. And I have my small cactus farm that I want to bring all the way up to that ceiling, which is obviously, it's, it's, it's going to take forever. But hopefully I'll get some help from you guys, which I will talk about later, about how you guys can join this faction. So yeah, it's three layers big. And I'm starting the fourth layer. And the reason I have it in chunks, because if you guys have never played Psycho, which if you guys have never played Psycho, this is probably the most, like, this would probably look like the most stupidest cactus farm ever, because there's no water leading to a hopper. They're all right next to each other. There's nowhere to fall. But on Psycho, they have a thing that helps with entities, where if there's a cactus in the area, it won't grow past, like, the one height that you have to use to, like, place it right here. But when it statistically would have grown, this is, like, in quotation marks, by the way, but, uh... It'll break it, or it'll, it'll like act like it broke it and send it up to a hopper I have way up there, but it only does it in every chunk. And so my old base, before I quit playing Minecraft for like two or three months, um, was a, exactly one chunk base, so I could only have one main cactus farm. But this is technically the size of my old cactus farm, but it's split into four collectors, so I can make four times the amount of cactus than my old base. And that's why I built it in this type of, you know, chunk area. And then we're going to go all the way up here to the next layer of the base. And here's just a little bit of, like, cactus resources. I need to go get more sand, but I'm working on it. All right, we are finally up at the next layer, and this is the final layer so far. Like I said, I've only played for two days, and I've been mainly working on the outside of the base. But there is the very top. I do have another reverse layer, like, from the top. But that's it. And I did, unfortunately, run out of obsidian, because it costs 6400 for a stack of obsidian, which is honestly insane. As you guys can see, I only have a balance of 12000 I was able to build this whole base, but the obsidian part is so expensive and so you guys probably know what these are uh, at some point i do want to get rid of this huge ladder just because if someone breaks in they have access to the whole base which i am going to fix but what these are for is little collection storages for the hoppers and that way if someone does make it 
into the base. They have to waste creeper eggs or try to get a lucky TNT shot to destroy into the rooms to get the hoppers. And I think this room has the only, yeah, this is my only hopper right now. They're like 20,000 per hopper, but as you can see, it'll just every once in a while go up in cactus. And no, it doesn't have to be at the bottom of the cactus farm. It can be anywhere. But so far, just since I hit record, I have 27, which isn't too bad for how small of a farm it actually is. I got bored and mined some wood and made this little kind of podium thing. That's where the F home is set. But yeah, I do plan... Oh, what was that? Okay, I do have three of these right now, and I do plan on putting another one in this corner. And that's why I said I'm going to be getting rid of this ladder so that the fourth chunk can also have a hopper. And this is a little storage area I made it obviously wasn't doesn't look that good I tried to make it look somewhat decent for how like poor it looks I just have a little bit of junk in there from building and the rest I'm pretty sure is empty and then this can be like the faction chest I thought you can just like if it has better than trash I should say but you know stuff that you don't want but you think the faction could use like TNT or something put it in there and I'll gladly put it in my e chest or PV Right now, my PV is looking pretty bad, honestly. I I did die, and when you die in this game, especially of fall damage, you lose everything right away. So I've lost, like, all my sets of armor. I lost my good efficiency pickaxe. All this stuff isn't even from Titan. This is from, like, my kit once, because I had to do that just to be able to use stuff. And then in my E-chest, I have one set of armor, a pig spawner, and then just some other stuff like a bow and arrow. I'm actually going to sell that gapple right now because I can make some money off that. Just some normal crapples and that. that's pretty much it for the my PV and ender chest. But as you can see I can fit a lot of TNT here which would be good for raids. As you can see though gapples do sell for a lot. I'm auctioning mine right now for $8,500 and someone will probably buy that. That's where I've made probably the biggest part of my money was just from selling gapples and because when I do my kill which I can only do every three days it gives me three gapples and like a couple sea eggs and I can sell those each for a little under 10k each so I did get a decent chunk of money to then build the space. Now if you guys do want to join this faction right here, the one I am in, the one I created, there is a few rules. So if you do want to join, rule number one. You guys will not be given access right away to this main base. You will be given access to some of the walls, but these four chunks right here, you will not be given access to. You can help build walls, which will in turn give you access to these four chunks right here. I have to have known you for some little bit of time, so you know some of my old faction members that want to play with me now, feel free. You're still not going to get access right away, they're still going to have to build some stuff, because I can't do all this by myself, guys. It's very challenging. And then to get mod, to, you know, maybe claim land, whatever, you need to find me a couple raids. Yes, you guys are probably like, wow, you guys are you're really strict, you know, but last faction, or the reason I quit Minecraft kind of was because nothing was happening when I was leader and or I was doing all the work and I just got sick of it and that's why I quit so if you guys want to see more Minecraft then join the faction and maybe help me out a little bit I'll still do work but I just need help because it gets stuff done a lot faster and summer is up right now today is officially the first day of summer vacation for me which is very nice I will be uploading a video later about the schedule that I plan on doing and it is going to be nice for almost I'm not gonna promise you this almost daily uploads which is gonna be honestly insane now the reason I want to start to do daily uploads is cuz I've noticed my channel is kind of dying recently and that is because I have almost 600 subscribers I'm at like 550 about I guess that's not really almost but in my head it's almost and I'm only averaging like 20 to 30 views a video which that's that that's pretty low if you guys think about it and I was watching all these youtubers that like have like over 2 million subscribers and they just said hard work pays off this guy told me that he uploaded two videos a day for 60 days and that was the first time he made his first hundred dollars that's crazy guys that is so much work for such little gain but I guess the first it's going to be rough and then throughout the thing you're just going to make more and more money and potentially make this a job and now you guys are probably thinking wow you just want money you're greedy but basically 
no one really believes, by no one I just mean like my family doesn't believe in that I can make a job out of this. My dad said he'll believe me if I get a paycheck, and my mom, I know, pretty sure is like never just gonna believe me. But uh, my dad said if I get a paycheck, he will believe me and, you know, try to help me as much as he can. I don't know what he could do to help, but, you know, something like that to try to help me with my future job, maybe, question mark? But yeah, I do like factions. I won't be playing mini games or anything of that from what I know right now. I really want to play factions. If you guys would like to join, it is called Ozone, capital O, the rest is lowercase z-o-n-e, no spaces, nothing else. I play on the Blaze Realm, and the best thing you guys could honestly do, if you guys do want to be a member, is get a rank. Now, I'm not like, they're not paying me to say this or anything like that. Like, that's not even my server or anything. But getting a rank on here is so nice because you, you cannot AFK if you don't have a rank. But you also get so much stuff for such little money. If I go to my kit, if I go to my kits, I have the Titan kit. Now, that's like in the last half of all the kits, so you think it'd be pretty good, and it is pretty good, but I only paid $15 for this kit. Granted, there's a little sale, but it comes with a build kit, which gives you like diamond blocks and pickaxes and stuff like that. Then it gives you a PvP, which gives you two sets of armor, some swords and bone arrows and gapples and stuff, and potions, actually. And then Kit Titan is where you're going to get stuff like iron blocks or, you know, some of your just more royalty stuff that they let you sell, like creeper eggs and stuff. So yeah, this is going to be kind of a short video. I just want to say you guys are welcome to join Ozone and let's see if we can take over this whole server. And now guys, I understand. The Blaze Realm is resetting soon. I do not know when. I seem to always start these at the worst times because then they like to restart them. But if it does reset, hopefully it's not for at least another two weeks and we can try to get a raid in for you guys before then. If not, though, if it's soon, which I'm pretty sure it is, you guys will see just a new video called Reset, I guess. So I guess hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys would want to know why I really like fully quit Minecraft, like I said earlier, I quit it for one reason, but that was just part of it. It was just a lot of stuff adding up to it. So yeah, if you guys do want to find out, comment that down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.